this is part one of, of the invitation, okay? This is part one of, um, of the practice for you if you're feeling stuck, um, if you're feeling like uh, things are moving a bit uh, slow in the department of creating whatever it is that you are desiring to create, whether it's relationship or um, you know a, a professional a professional outcome or um, for an art project, it begins with this here. Okay, it begins with the fire. So if you have a candle, you can hit pause right now and go grab your candle and go ahead and light it, right? So the fire, there are, there are so many layers to this element, right? There's so many beautiful layers to this element. And, and there's there's a couple of qualities that actually set this element apart. It sets it apart from other elements, um, the other elements of earth and water and air. And one of those qualities is that it's the only element that is pure. Um, in other words, we can pollute the water. Uh, the earth obviously is more polluted than, than, than I really like to think about right now, including the water and the air. Fire, however, is the only element that cannot be polluted. Okay. Um, it is also, thinking about this, um, it's transformative. All the elements are transformative, but this is alchemical in a very quick, quick kind of way to literally burn through um, whatever it is that 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 comes into contact with it. Right? It's also the only element that you can dance with. Okay, it's the only element that brings light into darkness, and it's the one element that I feel in the dance to, like we can literally manipulate this and move it and swirl it and spiral it around in, in a way that allows the soul to tell a story. The first invitation is just to begin to connect and form a relationship with the element of fire. Okay, so we light candles all the time, or maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's an invitation to start lighting candles more often, but how often do you sit with the fire, speak to the fire, listen to the fire, just sit with the fire, okay? First, <laughs> this is a practice, you know, even if it's just a minute a day. Um, my favorite place to do this is in the bathtub, actually. And just begin to notice what you become aware of. Okay. So the fire, right? And also circling back to Goddess Pele, the goddess of the volcano. And giving birth, right? That fire is is needed to transform, right? to transmute um, things from one element to birth another, from a somatic and from a neurophysiological uh, perspective. When we are talking about giving birth to a new way of being, giving birth to even a new thought, a new association, um, inspiration, anything that requires perception, right, that of the brain and the nervous system to hop on board and to, and to give some sort of meaning to it. The spark of creation in the nervous system is literally the fire. So as you meditate with this on the outside, Keep in mind that we are made up of all five elements. 
space and the fire is literally the electrochemical uh, neurophysiological transmission between the neurons. There's a, there's um, that saying, neurons that fire together, wire together. When, when a network of neurons over here associates um, two things in in, in your in your sensual field, sensory field, with together, there's a synchronization of firing that births this new connection. That births this new connection, and um, so it's quite literal. It's quite literal. The power, the power, the transformative and the creative potential of of the fire. So that was.